We have to do things differently, and we've got to do things smartly. And we've got to change this industry, and we have the opportunity to change this industry because we're smarter, and we care about our people. Well, students are going back to school and parents are trying to get them back into that morning routine. And it isn't always easy getting children to their bus stops on time. But now there's an app for that. Batavia schools are using it to make mornings easier on parents and bus drivers. Waiting around for the school bus isn't pleasant. And this app aims to help keep bus drivers and parents on the same schedule. From pickup to drop off, parents in the Batavia school district can now use an app to track their child's school bus. This app allows parents to see exactly where the bus is, where their child's route, or where their child is on a particular stop, how far it is from home, what information may be necessary to allow them to adjust the time at the stop or the pickup based on weather, based on traffic congestion, based on construction or accidents. This mobile application is just the beginning of many services that we're going to put through this new mobile platform that we're building, and we're going to offer that for sale to the parents in the form of a monthly fee or a yearly fee or kind of a subscription management service. Six shiny new buses have been arriving in St. Paul over the last couple of days, driven up here from Georgia. The new buses will hit the roads September 2nd. One of the most distinct features with the propane engines are they're quieter, much quieter than the diesel engines would be. Listen, with a diesel engine, you probably wouldn't be able to hear me very well talking right now. They're also cleaner, burning 60% less carbon monoxide than normal school buses and warmer. The actual efficiency is just a little bit less than diesel but the actual price of propane is, is less than diesel as well. STI is one of the few companies in this industry that is leading the way with technology and alternative fuel vehicles and institutional investors across the globe are looking at companies who are positively impacting climate. School bus service began this week in the Low Country. The state-of-the-art buses are picking up kids from Somerville all the way to Dunes West in Mount Pleasant and taking them both to and from their private and charter schools, sometimes located far away from their neighborhoods. Live Five's Megan Wallace found out why so many Low Country families are hopping on board. It's new for you right now at seven. Mount Pleasant dad Stephen Becker's kids go to their top school of choice. 45 minutes away from home in North Charleston. There was a lot of chaos. Becker says getting his kids to school is difficult. It was a mess uh, trying to get them all to fit into one car, trying to get everybody to, to the bus stop on time for another bus company that failed miserably. This year, they're trying a new service called School Wheels Direct. And two days in. Absolutely incredible, the, the service, the, the, the promptness. The company has five brand new buses equipped with individual seat belts, air conditioning, and much more. We have a complete camera system on board, which includes four cameras, so we can see everything that's going on inside the school bus. We have GPS. Uh, we're able to track the buses wherever they're going. We can't be, no pun intended, old school people about this. We've got to embrace new technology. You know, they say change is the only thing constant, and that's what we've got to constantly do. We've got to change and we've got to adapt to the times. 